All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to VR Awesomeness Introduction. My name is Spike, and uh, I will be your humble host on this game. We're going to try this game out. We're kind of trying different games. That's what this playlist is about. It's all about different random games. So you can kind of see me play through it from the beginning with no uh, bias, no uh, knowledge of the game and that kind of stuff. Just kind of jumping right in. Um, I want to apologize. I did promise that I was going to do Battlezone, uh, but Battlezone was... Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> Um, nothing but problems trying to get it going. The game is basically a port over, and the assumption was that um, you're playing in front of a keyboard or you're playing in front of a PSVR, not on the Oculus. None of the buttons worked. The first thing it asked me for was to hit the tab key on the keyboard, like all this kind of stuff. So maybe someday I'll do it with, in front of my keyboard, um, but my play space is not anywhere near my computer, and, uh, and I got very frustrated trying to remap key and like all this kind of stuff. So we're going to do Psychonauts in the Rhombus of Ruin. <laughs> not, not sure what a, what a rhombus is. Rhombus? Rhombus? Someone wants to, unless the game tells me, if someone wants to tell me what the heck a rhombus is. <laughs> anyway, so press A to continue. Oh, turn my head to target. Oh, I'm trying to use my controller, and you have to use your head. Press A or touchpad. Oh, this is way different than any other VR game. I am a psychonaut. <laughs> a real psychonaut. Me, Raz. After dreaming about it all my life, I'm finally a psychonaut on an actual mission. Rescuing not just anybody, but the grand head of the Psychonauts himself, Truman Zanato, who just happens to be the father of my girlfriend. I mean, I think she's my girlfriend. There was that kiss, but it's not like we've had the talk or anything. But hey, she said it first. Darling? Didn't she? Rasputin, sweetie. Mia! Hello, darling. I just wanted to make sure that you were okay. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. And that you knew you were talking out loud. You could hear me? Just that last part. About Lily. <laughs> it's adorable, but we're trying to contact headquarters up here, and it's a little distracting. Gotcha. So embarrassing. <laughs> This is Agents 9 and Bordello hailing PNML-857. Cool. Come in, mother Field Lord. manual. Sorry, oh. I'm busy right now. No time for camp business. This is not camp business. This concerns the kidnapping. Give us the intel you've gathered so far, and we can help with the... Mother load out! Unbelievable. Mother load? Well, we'll just have to locate Truman on our own. Right. I'll reach out now and see if I can pick anything up. Huh. Training alert. Okay, so you look at the things you want to interact with, then you press the down on the toggle. Training alert. It's often oh. important to see the world from someone else's point of view, especially when you're strapped to your seat. Am I? Well, I guess. Let me step back here. <laughs> uh... Oh. Yeah, so I'm learning the controls because uh, they're just a little. Okay, so what can I interact with? I can interact with her. Oh yeah, the the controls are way. I know this is an older game. I'll post a date here. Uh, I have no hands in the game. Everything is interacted through my through my look. Not sure how I feel about that. That's going to be my hand. I, I'm holding my hands in front of my face. There are no hand interactions here. So that's kind of strange. I can't seem to interact with this control. 
All right, let me see what she has to say. Hi, Lily. How you holding up? I'm so worried about my dad, Raz. Where is he? Why won't headquarters tell us what they know? We'll find him. I oh, promise. I'm in... Oh, I'm in her head. Oh, man. Is that what I look like? Yep. Hang on. That's better. It's like an old string of that. All right, so I can jump. So, a little psychic poke might come in handy. So what am I supposed to do? Oh, okay. So one hand is to communicate. Okay, wow. Okay, so the right hand is to interact with things. Hey, how'd that squirrel get in here? Squirrel. Oh, no. Did the squirrels get in here again? That's to be expected when you park a plane in the woods, darling. I told headquarters an underground hangar pays for itself in two years. Well, let's think of it as a mascot. It's like an old string of that. Squirrel. <laughs> Take it. I'm in the squirrel. I suddenly feel a little nutty. I'm, uh, I'm the squirrel. Ah, who asked you? Everybody knows squirrels have no sense of humor. Will somebody hey, shut off that noise, Think please? Think you could toss me a roll of toilet paper? <laughs> Red Putin! This head's occupied. Find another one. Uh. Oh, I see. Feels soft. What? Toilet paper? Actually, whatever it is, if it's soft, hand it over. Like an old of that. I don't know. So if I look at it, you see what that message is? I'm trying to concentrate. Like an old I'm working at it. I don't know how. Like an old wow, this stuff is super light. Not a problem. I'll double up. Just hand it to me, quick. Oh, I see. Okay, see. Wow, you gotta like. Somebody toss me a roll, huh? All right, let me go back into my body over there. Maybe it's the angle I'm at. It's not not great. Let me try. Little help. Okay, working on it. I think that's Anybody out there? Anybody? I can't really get it closer to him. Um, how do I move? Nine. Okay. Hello. Um, oh, oh, shush. I'm go into the squirrel mode here. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. This is really, really strange. So before you pick this up, you definitely. Thanks for the reinforcement, son. Okay, okay. So I'd hate to start a fire on this plane, but surprisingly, it does often help. It's like an old string of that. Okay, let me go back to my original body. Will somebody shut off that noise, please? I'm <laughs> working on it, guys. I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Lily's always been better at burning stuff than me. But I feel that knowing when not to burn stuff is an undervalued skill. Oh, yeah, the new issue! Have to read this after the mission. So you select one button to select it. You hold down one trigger. Okay, so how do we interact with this stupid... No, not the window. This. Pillows? This jet is Indeed. all first Don't class. When you really focus your there. thoughts, well, you sure can me. get a lot done. And uh, break a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. Alright, so, uh... That'll work. Oh, man! Toilet paper is fun to blow up. Hey, I need that! 
Sorry, not sorry. Oh, oh squirrel. <laughs> um. Okay, how many more things do I have to side blast? Here? Obviously, Mia's suitcase. <laughs> Do you really think this is the time? Wasn't me, darling. I wonder why that one overhead compartment is locked, and not the others. Hmm. Wonder what's in here? That's my official Psychonauts uniform. Gotta be gentle. I'm saving it for ceremonial occasions. Beautiful, Lily. It used to be my grandma's. What's a family heirloom doing locked up in the jet? No idea, but I'm glad it's here. Can we Poor Lily. Jump? Lily, have you tried using clairvoyance with your music box to make a connection with your dad? That was the first thing I did, but either I'm too freaked out or too involved, or the signal's blocked, or he's, he's... Would you mind if I gave it a try? No way am I side blasting poor Lily. She must be really freaked out about her dad. Pressed the wrong button and I almost blasted her. I'm. I'm getting something. Uh, is it my father? Can you see him? No, not yet. Something is strange about this signal. Everyone, focus your thoughts on Raz and Grandhead Zonato. Together we can connect them. Maury, will you help us? I'll cover you from here. This is where I do my best concentrating. <laughs> oh. I see something. It's a strange room. Look around for clues, Rasputin. If we can figure out where this room is, we can fly the jet straight there. But first, tell me if my dad's okay. On it. I'm trying to figure out where this is. Oh. I mean, there's a radar up there. This one's really interested in buttons, it seems. So is this kind of... Okay, so this is basically a puzzle game. It's not ported well. Um, let's see. <laughs> Roz, what's wrong? I can't. I can't seem to. Something's wrong with my powers. Well, we may be very far away from Truman, darling, so your connection might not be strong enough. <laughs> There's a really big skylight on the roof of this place. But it's shut. Try to open it, Raz. There might be a billboard or a skyscraper up there to help us. Or possibly a constellation to navigate by, if it's nighttime there. Ooh, good idea, Sasha. Oh, okay. Now I need to take control of that guy. Ah. This guy's in charge of the big ball. Okay, one of those symbols I know. And it's bad. These other symbols look a little... fishy. I like it. You make a pun and it goes brown, brown, brown. Um, all right, let's go to that guy and see what he's got. Okay. Okay, so the room. If I were a computer genius, what would I do? Oh, here we go. So, Star Star. They've got Truman's head in a giant steel ball. So, they Star. Cut off his head! Star. No, no. Star. It's attached to his body. It's just right. stuck in a big round, um, uh. Psycho isolation monitor, I presume. But what are they using for an anti catalyst? Is it a squid? Okay, that was the right code. All right, so let me see if I got I got this. So it's a bit, literally a room-sized puzzle. I just noticed the dude standing underneath the... the <laughs> this... Wow, this is great. This is quirky. Um, okay, let me go back to that guy up there. Okay, I open the hatch, and... Oh, it's full of... What's wrong, darling? Nothing. 
just got a little dizzy for a second. There's some sort of glowing yellow rock in here. Rasputin, was there a psychohazard symbol on the outside of the container you just opened? Probably. Oh, yeah. I was gonna mention that. Silurium. Be careful, Ras. It's very psychically disorienting. And Silurium is also incredibly rare. That certainly narrows down the possible locations. Okay. But we still need more information, Rasputin. Gotcha. So, this is how it feels to be the Button Master. I wonder if this opens that big window. Okay, so I gotta figure out the puzzles. I see some figures. Can you identify the kidnappers? No, they're wearing protective suits. Except that guy. Let's see what he's gotta say over here. He was carrying a pad, but I don't see get to see the pad. Okay, I can't really interact. I can't with make him. out the image because of this lumpy slacker here. This dude out of the way. How do I get him out of the way? Can't side blast anything with my head all messed up like this. My telekinesis feels busted. I can't get a grip. My telekinesis feels busted. I can't get a grip. So how am I supposed to get this guy off of here? He's sitting on boxes and his big lumpy head is in the way. What a slacker. Must be hard to find good henchmen these oh. days. Uh, it's a dude washing his hands. Hmm. What is this place? Can't interact with anything here. Let's see what this guy's looking at. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's not actually working. He's reading a comic. Hey, this guy's not reading a textbook. <laughs> Henry, sorry, Fred. Well, here's something. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So, shell, star, fish. Okay, so it's not this one. Let's go over here. Okay, God, it always puts you in the wrong direction. So it was shell, star, squid. That's it! You found the location of the kidnapper's lair? No, I... Well, I'm not sure what I did. But I did something. Something's happening. Oh, Is that go. water? Uh. No, water outside of the window. Guys, we're underwater. Mm -hmm. Under a lot of it. Underwater? A submerged hideout. Ooh, now that is interesting. <laughs> no wonder they haven't found it yet. But the ocean is huge. Raz, we need more clues. Uh. I know. I'll keep looking. Okay. Um, well, it's a puzzle game, so I don't want to spoil it too much in case anybody wants to check it out. I, I, I think it's cute. Um, I, I don't know. I think I, I think I would play the hell out of this game. Like I, would, I think I would actually want to solve everything. Um, I don't know what this guy's button does. Come so. on, open up. Uh, so nothing. Something over here. There's a big window here, but it's shut. 
Oh, so now I gotta figure out how to get the big window open. Um, this way. Yeah. So you, it, once you get the controls, because it is it is different, <laughs> and I mean it is it is a, a interesting uh, adaptation. Okay, let's see what this guy has to do. It's an interesting adaptation of um, what's this? This is my original original position here. Yeah, it's original. It's an interesting adaptation from obviously a different type of game system. This is not the usual port. Yeah, I can't interact with anything here. So yeah, basically it's puzzle solving, and then there's probably some action later because you can blast things, um, and and burn things and that kind of stuff. This so, must be the brainy one. This guy. I don't think that one's the brandy one. Um, this guy's interesting because he's just... He's just sitting here. Let's see. Is that some sort of torture chair? What? Oh, uh, I said, is that a torch over there? No, you didn't. I mean, is that some sort of portraiture? Like a painting. Oh, God. Not sure what I'm supposed to be doing with that. Uh... Is that some sort of torture chair? What? <laughs> oh, uh, I said... Is Stop that a torch that. over there? No, you didn't. I mean, is that some sort of portraiture? Like a painting. Oh, God. This thing adjusts to the height of the torturer, I guess. Creepy. Yeah, but it's not really doing anything. For whatever reason, this chair lets you adjust it as well. Well, not adjust it, but you could adjust a mirror. What if there's something like a reflection I'm supposed to do? All right, well, I'm not great at puzzle games. We could be here for a lifetime. <laughs> I'm just going to end it here, guys. And uh, if I can figure out what's going on, maybe I'll do a follow-up video or something. But I just wanted to show off the game, and uh, it's very cute. So, yeah, basically you enter puzzle rooms and jump in and out of characters and interact with objects with your psycho powers. Uh, it's a clever way to get around the, the VR element. And, um, yeah, I think if you get it on a good sale, I think it's a good one to jump in, to, you know, pass some time. Uh, you could probably cast it to a television and this maybe play be the computer genius <laughs> uh, and then cast it to a television or something and maybe play with some people um, in the same room that kind of thing so you can help uh, figure out the puzzles I think that'd be actually a fun party game uh, especially if you got a decent sized TV you can really enjoy it with a few people uh, I'm gonna say it's a purchase uh, especially if you get a decent I think I got this for four dollars or three dollars something like that and I'm definitely gonna come back because now I'm really curious I want to really solve this puzzle uh, but I don't want to bore the hell out of you guys at the same time because you know it takes me five hours to solve one single puzzle I'm obviously exaggerating it's about four and a half hours either way it's something that people aren't going to be interested in sitting here watching um, yeah so thanks for coming along thanks for watching this video I hope to keep it nice and short so it doesn't bore the heck out of people uh, we are now doing a new series called Double Trouble Tuesdays my wife and I are going to play together in multiplayer co-op stuff and uh, we're going to be switching off different games, uh, Dungeons of Eternity, um, and uh, After the Fall, and stuff like that. Like We're going to be jumping around for co-op games. She is incredibly new to VR, except for Dungeons of Eternity. She's played the hell out of that game. Uh, she's really good at it, so you wait till you see her teleporting around and kicking butt. It's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, we'll have a, so Double Trouble Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, we're going to post up a video of us running around uh, 
just running a dungeon or running a map, nothing too long, nothing too extensive, but just having fun and bantering and doing what married couples do best and poking fun at each other. <laughs> Hope you can come along for that. Anyway, stay safe, stay strong. This I don't have my hands. Like the button master. Okay. I don't have I, I don't have hands, so I can't do my usual thing, but uh, <laughs> let's be safe out there, guys. Let's be strong. Let's uh, let's take care of ourselves. Let's take care of the people that matter around us. And uh, let's try and be good people and make the world a better place. See you guys. Bye.